Before we start the installation, we are going to remove power at the disconnect, as we will be working in the unit with the wiring. We have mounted the LBK-10 to the bulkhead of the condensing unit, and will proceed to the wiring. White wire from the LBK-10 is connected to the ground of the chassis. Be sure this connection is nice and snug. Next, the two black wires from the LBK-10 will be connected to the line side of the contactor. We are connecting the 24 volt signal wire from the thermostat to the brown wire of the LBK-10. The gray wire is connected to the contactor holding coil to initiate the call for cooling. For this installation, we will not be using the blue wire, which is for an external light or an audible alarm to indicate the unit has shut down due to a fault. We are applying power back to the unit and the LBK-10 will then start its three minute diagnostic check. You will notice it is doing a continuous blink. This indicates the LBK-10 is running through its self-diagnostics to check for over voltage, under voltage, or a loss of ground. This will take three minutes and the LED will then turn to a solid green if the installation is good and the voltage and ground are okay. Our installation is complete. We have completed the three minute diagnostics we have a steady green light indicating the unit is ready to now run. This demo is showing the loss of a ground. The LBK-10 has done a three minute check and is displaying three flashes indicating a loss of ground or neutral. As indicated on the label, once this is remedied, the unit will go through a three minute check and if the ground or neutral has been reestablished, it will have a solid green LED and allow the unit to start.